Welcome back. Tennessee lawmakers are back in business on the first day of the new legislative session. And the talk in Nashville could hit a place that we've been seeing some recent relief. And we are talking about the gas pump. News Channel 9's anchor Josh Rowe is in Nashville today for the start of the state session. He joins now live from the state capitol. Good evening, Josh. Latricia and Kim, on our drive up to Nashville today through Mary and through Grundy County, we saw gas prices 189, 193, well below that $2 mark. The question is, with gas prices low, is this the right time for state lawmakers to increase the gas tax? I think the burden of proof falls on those who want to uh, increase the gas tax. I know I've heard a lot about, you know, the, the price of gas is so low right now that this would be a good time to do it. But I'm old enough to remember uh, the price of gas going down and then going way back up. So I suspect it'll go up again. Uh, I, I've not seen the governor get behind this. And uh, uh, so so I'm, I'm opposed to it. I, I'll keep an open mind. But uh, they're, they're going to have to make a really good case before I vote for a, a gas tax. We spoke to three legislators, all from the Chattanooga area. None said they were ready to vote for an increase in the gasoline tax at the state level. Very conscious of uh, what taxes do uh, and the impact they have on our citizens. So the average family in Tennessee makes about $44,000 a year. Anything you tax has the potential to create a financial burden for someone. So I would say this legislature would be very careful uh, about considering any tax increases. Senator Bill Watson did say what he thinks will be addressed is how the state of Tennessee taxes gasoline. Right now, Tennessee taxes you on every gallon of gas. The state of Georgia taxes the entire gasoline purchase. I think the state will continue to talk about whether the method that we tax gasoline is the correct method or not. I don't foresee a, uh, a will to raise the gas tax in Tennessee right now. And, of course, we're talking about the state level here. Of course, Senator Corker's talking about a gas tax increase on the federal level as well. Another big question, how do you tax electric cars? They use our roads, but they're not taxed for gasoline because they don't purchase uh, gasoline, the drivers of those cars. So a lot of questions surrounding this gas tax and a lot more from Nashville coming up at 530 and 6 o'clock. For now, Josh Rowe, live in Nashville. Let's go back to the studio to Kim and Latricia. All right, Josh, thanks so much. And there are many other bills that will come up this session. Here's a look at some proposals. The Racial Profiling Prevention Act would require each state and local law enforcement agency, including university police departments, to follow a new policy prohibiting racial profiling. Another bill on the table is help with human trafficking cases. It would give the TBI four special agents to investigate, help prosecute cases, and train other officers. The bill also suggests developing a course of instruction for departments in recognizing and prosecuting human trafficking. Of course, at this point, these are all just proposals. And one more dealing with the Department of Children's Services would require a third party to be included in the interview of a child. That person could either be a school resource officer, a counselor, a nurse, or another faculty member. Otherwise, those interviews would be recorded on video. Healthcare is shaping up to be one of the top priorities in Tennessee this legislative session. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Latricia Thomas. The 109th General Assembly convened today in Nashville. Top of the list, Governor Bill Haslam's plan to ensure 200,000 low-income Tennesseans. News Channel 9's Josh Rowe is at the state capitol. He's live now with more on the health care proposal and what else lawmakers are focusing on during this General Assembly. Kim, Latricia, as you said, a major piece on the agenda, Insure Tennessee, a way to help provide health insurance for those who are not eligible for Medicaid. Uh, Governor also says it's also going to help the economy as well. Reading over and underlining and making notes and having questions on the plan. I just got this Thursday, but I was out of town until late Sunday night. And uh, But I want to have it fully vetted. I want to understand it. Uh, I, I think a lot of Governor Haslam, uh, I think he's trying to do the right thing. Senator Todd Gardenhire says he needs more information before he makes a decision to support Insure Tennessee. I'm not about to vote for something that's, that's going to put more money in the pockets of the executives and not take care of people who need it the most. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, now, that doesn't mean I won't vote for this. I need to look it over. I need to study it. I need to see the, 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 the consequences of it. Representative Gerald McCormick says he met with Governor Bill Haslam about Insure Tennessee yesterday. He says he also is still learning all the details he can. 
And we heard from uh, Representative McCormick in that uh, we've heard from a lot the, the last couple of weeks. So just last week we talked to him about an initiative he's pushing for a civics exam for everyone who graduates high school in the state of Tennessee. I was very surprised uh, at, at the amount of attention that I got. Pleasantly surprised. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, are really in support of it. Uh, the first person who called me was a, a Democratic representative from Memphis who, who wanted to sign on to the bill and, and make it a bipartisan effort. Uh, and a lot more things that McCormick wants to address this session. Introduces uh, bills uh, on um, uh, one, one thing in, in particular from Representative McCormick, a bill to uh, reduce the sales use tax. It would cut down from 7% to 6.75%. McCormick also wants to make it a fine for anyone to obstruct a train longer than 10 minutes outside of any normal operations. Uh, in response to actions taken uh, by outgoing Senator Stacey Campbell last year, McCormick's proposing a restriction uh, for lawmaker mail as well. If they're running for office, uh, they would not be allowed to use state funds for mass mailings within three months before an election. And lastly, McCormick wants to uh, students to have uh, passed that civics test to graduate high school, as we just uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, earlier today, a very loud protest on this street right here behind me, right in front of the Capitol building, also inside the building. Let's take a look at that video if, if we could. Uh, dozens of abortion oh, rights supporters have protested uh, near the state capitol in Nashville, also inside Side. They're against the efforts to enact a new restrictions. While protesting outside, inside lawmakers held a press conference to announce plans to enact similar laws struck down by a 2000 state Supreme Court decision. Uh, in last November's election, voters ratified a ballot measure related to abortion. Uh, it overturned the court ruling that abortion was protected by Tennessee Constitution as part of a woman's fundamental right to privacy. So a lot going here on here today in Nashville and a lot going on moving forward in this session. All right now, let's go back to the studio to Kim and Latricia. Josh Rowe in Nashville, thanks so much for that. And education appears to be a top priority this legislative session with several bills already introduced. One of those seeks to regulate curriculum in public schools. That proposal would set up a Tennessee Standards Commission that would then make curriculum recommendations to the state school board. Another bill introduced this session centers on court debt. If passed, it would allow a court clerk with approval from a judge to collect one partial payment instead of the full payment of court costs. It's only for balances that have been in default for at least five years. And that partial payment would have to be 50% or more of the balance.